first things first yes i did make this in june and yes it is quite literally february next week but my skills of procrastination are quite literally unmatched so we're gonna ignore that part hopefully this will be helpful if you are deciding to make a cinderella dress or any disney dress really involving a lot of chul um but hopefully this will be helpful i will put the amounts and materials of all of the fabric that i used um and just hopefully this will give a good guideline maybe of what order to do things in let's get into it so i'm going to start by making the petticoat for the petticoat you'll need uh, 25 yards of tulle this is roughly 22.86 meters For the design that I'm doing, I will cut out three strips which are 50 centimeters wide and the lengths of these strips will be 9 meters, 6 meters and 4 meters. So I'm very roughly measuring it out, it doesn't need to be exact. I then did a large stitch across the top of the 9 meter strip. This will mean that I can gather it so that it's smaller and will give more volume to the petticoat. So then I started the long process of gathering and this took ages and it's really mind-numbingly boring but you have to do it. I then got the 6 meter strip of material and laid the 9 meter gathered strip over the top and um, adjusted the length of the 9 meter strip to fit the 6 meter strip. I then pinned the strips together. I then sewed across the pins. Then you're going to have to repeat this process of sewing and gathering and pinning and sewing until you get the three tiers all gathered and sewn together. So at this point I found some blue tulle that was over from a Little Mermaid costume a few years ago that went horribly wrong. So I used that um, to add some more volume to the bottom of the petticoat. So I had to stitch all of the strips together and then sew all around the top to gather it. I ended up with two long strips of gathered tool so I pinned those together and sewed those together. I also made a second petticoat that was comprised of two um, strips and I'd sewn the ruffles onto the bottom of the first layer. I then made a yoke for all of the petticoats to be attached to so I did this by um, draping some material on my mannequin over the top of a um, hoop skirt that I have. So just by trimming and making sure that it looks symmetrical. So I cut the yoke out of this really nice blue material that my friend gave me. It's kind of satiny cotton kind of stuff and it's got a nice sheen to it. So I cut out enough. And in a strike of pure stupidity, I decided to put hooks on it, or not hooks, loops. And obviously that did not work um, because I tried skipping out, adding hooks. So I attached the petticoat to the yoke. So for the outer skirts, you'll need 
three layers. I'm cutting a zigzag across the material so that it creates these trapeziums that hopefully when you sew them together they create a more kind of circular shape that will give the skirt like even gathers from the waist down to the hem. So you had to sew all of those together so that all of the shorter sides are along one edge and all the long sides are along the other edge. I then sewed along the shorter edge in a big stitch so that I could gather it. So these are the three different layers. So I used organza, chiffon and then organza. So I sewed all three layers together which was a nightmare to get through my machine but I eventually did that and sewed them to their own yoke. So to make the corset I used a tutorial from Let Down Your Golden Hair I think um, and originally my bodice was going to be the corset as well but I eventually changed plans and just went for an underbust corset that I would wear underneath the bodice and then make a bodice that's not a corset. So I cut out um, two layers of the blue material that I use for the yolks and I also cut out one layer of interfacing. So I had three pieces of each piece. I also basted the interface into the outside pieces. This interface will just give it strength. So then I pinned and sewed all of the seams in the corset. I then put them right sides together and sewed along the sides and bottom before flipping it out and pinning the seams together so that I could stitch in the ditch and then stitch next to it to create boning channels. I then um, cut the boning to shape and put them inside the boning channels. Um, I used plastic boning um, and I needed to iron it before I put it in, which I did afterwards. Then I flipped the raw edges under and sewed them shut. I marked where I wanted the eyelets to be on the back seams. And I did this early on a Saturday morning, which annoyed my family. So once I'd done that, the corset was done. So to make the bodice, I took the corset and kind of um, drafted it onto a piece of paper. And then I changed the design um, so that it would be a bodice. This is kind of what I call the Mandalorian bodice, because it, to me, it looks like a Mandalorian helmet. Um, so I made it out of paper to make sure that it looked right, and then I did the exact same thing to the back of the bodice. So I cut it out of um, some, I think this is a bed sheet or something, just so that I could see how it fitted, and then I altered the fit of it and altered the design and then cut it out of the blue material which is going to be the lining of the bodice. So my initial plan was to have a blue lining of this and then a um, light blue satin with chiffon overlay as the kind of like exterior colours but I made this and then I didn't really like the colour of it and I ended up putting too much interfacing in it. Um, so I changed plans and did a um, the darker blue, so the cottony satin stuff um, underneath the chiffon so that it was just a bit darker. And I only used one piece of um, interfacing in the centre front. 
So I basted the layers together again just so that they didn't slip everywhere because this material is horrible to sew. So then I just sewed all of the bodice pieces together in their respective layers. So at this point I'm doing the old design, which all got changed, I forgot to film it, the new design. So this is what the inside of the new one looks like. I then cut the bone into shape and because it's so on I was just sewed it on. I didn't want to do bone in channels and I attempted to glue metal boning to the lining um, and inevitably it did not work. So that came off. I don't know what I was thinking to be honest. So then I cut the bodice like hemline to shape because it was just a bit haywire at the moment. So you'll notice that um, it does not fit the mannequin. Um, then I pinned the two layers together and I sewed across the top and bottom seams. So then I folded underneath the kind of like back edges and then I took a strip of material, the three different types of material that I had used and I folded each strip in half and sewed down the side <coughs> seam. I then shoved one of the, um, I turned everything inside out and shoved the different layers inside each other. I then um, pinned it and twisted it into the right shape that I wanted it to be on the mannequin. You'll notice that the mannequin and the bodice are not the same shape. This is because I made the bodice to fit me in the corset, hence why the bodice does not fit, up, fit together at the back. So then you'll want to sew the um, boofy ruched bits to them. Unfortunately all of this sewing was wasted because my sister ripped off my shoulders when I tried it on later that day. So then I attached some hooks to the back of the dress. I then sewed, well I tried to invisibly sew the bodice to the skirt um, but this didn't work so then I tried gluing it and that didn't work. Well it kind of worked but it wasn't that strong. Um, and I tried using my machine on it to start off with, but my machine was having none of it. Eventually I decided to just hand sew it as neat as I could. You don't really see the stitch in any way, so it's not that big of a problem. So... Now that the skirt is sewn to the bodice, you'll want to hem the bottom of the skirt. So I put my mannequin on a box so that I could roughly cut what length I needed it to be um, because my mannequin's not my height and I'm wearing heels in this dress so it's just a bit confusing. And then I had to hem it all and this took hours, like I'm not joking, this was painful. It's like driving down a motorway in the fact that it just keeps going. So I wanted to create um, butterflies for the shoulders and I went on Google and just printed out some outlines of butterflies and then just painted them in different shades of blue. I also coated them in this weird purpley silver paint that I found and just glued them together so that they're just a bit stronger. I trimmed them and put some like silver accents on them so that they're a bit sparkly. I then hand sewed them to the top of the dress.
So for the shoes, I took an old pair of shoes that I have um, and I put some tape on them to try and make it look neater but that just didn't work in the end. Um, I tried to make them look as glassy as I could but in the end I just thought it wasn't worth it. I did use just normal acrylic paint to paint them and I used some of the spare butterflies and for some reason I put them in organza because I thought it would look better but in the end it didn't so I just had to paint over them. I also put silver accents on these butterflies too. I put glue on both the butterflies and the shoes just to seal them in and to make them a bit more resilient to water. <laughs> 